if I if sitting at a red light, you know, and someone wants to run, they're going to be, they're going to be, you know, their feelings are going to be hurt. Alright guys, so we're going to talk about a, uh, a very hot topic. This is something that was, you know, requested a lot in the last week or so. And that is, how much did all of this stuff, all the cam stuff, end up running me? Uh, now before I get too far into financial stuff about the cam, and I know this is really important for you guys because uh, many of you are looking down uh, to go into this route and I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. Uh, so before I do that, uh, a lot of people have asked me what the specs are for the cam and I do not have that. Okay. Jay Green gives comp cam, um, a custom grind spec sheet that they, you know, pretty much grind out a custom cam and ship it to me. So this is not an off the shelf kind of cam. Um, it is a special, specially designed cam. Uh, by Jay Green and a lot of people ask the question about you know the tuning aspect of of the cam and everything here if, real quick when all the parts came in I had to purchase a tune okay once Jay sent me a tune I loaded it up to my T2 and after the installation I basically just started up my T2 uh, loaded the files onto my PCM, uh, you know, loaded the custom tune and I was good to go. So that takes care of that. Now let's, let's talk a little bit about how much everything ended up costing because when you purchase a cam, it's not just the cam. You actually have to purchase a lot of different other elements, um, for the install. Now, one of the really attractive parts about a J Green package is that pretty much everything comes in it. Uh, you do not have to, you know, kind of guess at anything. He pretty much makes it as simple as, you know, you transferring money and all the pieces that are required come to your front door in the, you know, in three or four days or so. So he takes a lot of the guessing work out. He takes a lot of, you know, I need to purchase this and that and this and that. He piles it all up and, and starts shipping it to you. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to purchase in addition to the cam package. Now, in the J Green um, package, I purchased the 1.5 and he has a, a few, quite a few uh, custom grind cams to choose from. And basically when you're contacting him, he'll ask you, you know, do you want a mellow idle? Do you want a lope idle? Do you want, um, you know, aggressive? Do you want, you know, top end, low end, la 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 la. And basically you just kind of work with him and, and let him know what you're kind of expecting with this cam and everything. Um, I settled on the 1.5 because um, low end wise, you know, I'm spinning tires, I'm going nuts and everything. And I kind of um, want to start scheduling a, a few more races with higher horsepower vehicles and they go past, you know, 60 here guys, you know, so a lot of these races, there's zero to 90 ish range. And I want to, uh, improve that top end where my RT falls flat. <clears throat> now let's jump into the package. The J green package that I purchased was $1,900. Okay. And it came with obviously the cam lifters, push rods, shims, um, valve springs, uh, pack 1211 springs, um, you name it, it, it came with it. And, um, as I, as I'm talking, you'll see all the, the, the pieces together. Now, in addition to 
what you got in the the green package you also had to go and get a couple other things so i went to my dodge dealer and got um was it head gaskets okay um coolant and oil and an oil filter okay so the J Green package was $1,900. Then you have to purchase a tune for an additional $150, okay? Then you have to, the coolant, the head gaskets cost about $200. And then the oil was probably around $60. Now I'm not gonna act like I can do all the math right inside you know, my head and everything, but I would probably put it at roughly 2300 i don't know we all see it right here but you're looking at a ballpark of you know 2300 bucks for for everything um and then you have to line up uh someone to install it and that is where you know you you're gonna you know run into some issues i've seen um i've seen you know, quotes for anywhere from, you know, 800 all the way to 1500. Okay. Um, the guy that I used, I'm not going to release how much he charged or anything like that, but if you want to get a hold of him, his Instagram is flashing on the screen. You can contact him through his Instagram and, you know, he'll give you a quote. He'll, he'll, uh, you know, let you know and everything. But in regards to, um, the overall, easy factor uh this this package was unbelievable okay you basically just talk to jay he he lines up a cam that he thinks you know is going to work for what it is that you're trying to achieve with your vehicle and then all the parts just start you know coming in and you know you can't it's really that simple okay you just sit there and and after like a week you should have all the parts that are included in your package and then you go to the Mopar dealer, get yourself head gaskets, yada, yada, yada. And then you just bring it all to a person that's qualified to install it. And you should be in the ballpark of about a little over $3,000, $3,300 or so. Um, and what you're going to be walking away with is a much better performance vehicle. Okay. You're going to be you know, gaining around 55 to 60 wheel horsepower. And that is significant, especially if you have a 5.7. Uh, these 5.7s have a tendency of falling flat at higher uh, miles per hour. And this is going to certainly wake it up big time. So, um, you know what? I hope that this helps anybody that's uh, looking into a cam. I know there's a ton of you guys out there that are, you know, debating about camming your, your vehicle. I have no regrets whatsoever. I love it. The sound of it is so good. Um, you know, I went with a mellow idle and it still sounds aggressive. When you hear it in person, idling and everything, you definitely know that, like, you do hear that it's deeper and and beefier and i love that about it um if i if sitting at a red light you know and someone wants to run they're gonna be they're gonna be you know their feelings are gonna be hurt if if i step on the on the gas because let me tell you they're not gonna know that that thing is cammed okay um and it's it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun hurting some feelings i'll tell you that uh so this cam i is a welcome addition i'm very happy with it and uh, for anybody that has questions about, you know, camming their ride or anything along those lines, let me know. If I don't know the answer, I'll, I'll reach out to um, uh, Green Racing. Again, I'm not an expert by any means, okay? I'm, I'm learning this stuff as I go. Um, I just know that the process was super simple and the amount of money that I've spent uh, for the amount of performance uh, I, I think was, was well worth it. So, all right, guys, that's really all I have for you. And I hope, uh, this, this does help now, make sure you like the video, subscribe. And, uh, if you're feeling, you know, feisty, drop a comment. <laughs>